Install the turbine rotor fastening tool onto the gas outlet flange of the turbine housing. For more convenient reassembly of the compressor impeller, mark the alignment position on the threads and nut. Remove the shaft end nut. This has a left hand thread, so turn it clockwise for removal. Pull out the compressor impeller. If it is hard to remove, heat the impeller with a dryer or other device before removal. Do not knock the shaft end with a hammer or other tool. After making an alignment mark, remove the hexagonal bolts fastening the ceiling plate. Use the two bolts just removed as puller bolts to remove the ceiling plate and oil thrower together. Remove the anti-side thrust collar. Use the two hexagonal bolts which fasten the ceiling plate as puller bolts to remove the thrust bearing. Remove the distance piece. Remove the direct side thrust collar. Remove the O-ring. Next is removal of the turbine housing. First, remove the hexagonal bolts. Apply penetrant to the spigot joint of the turbine housing. A bolt interferes at the base of the installation foot. Turn the housing to remove it. These bolts are heat resistant. Separate them from the others. Place the turbocharger upside down to remove the turbine housing. Place the turbocharger on a proper mount so that the end of the rotor shaft does not strike the top of the table. Put a wire through the turbine rotor fastener and remove the turbine housing with a crane. If it is hard to remove, knock around the perimeter of the housing lightly with a plastic hammer. Take care not to damage the turbine wheel. Remove the turbine rotor. Take care not to damage the turbine shaft. In the case of the RH-133, remove the metal sealing gasket. Remove the heat insulator. If it is hard to remove, knock it lightly with a plastic hammer. Now remove the turbine side seal ring from the turbine rotor with the seal ring pliers. Be sure to replace the seal ring upon reassembly. Remove the oil thrower from the compressor impeller side sealing plate that was removed just a moment ago. Remove the compressor side seal ring from the oil thrower with the seal ring pliers. Next is disassembly of the bearing. First, the turbine side. Remove the snap ring with the snap ring pliers. Remove the floating bearing. Remove the compressor side snap ring and the floating bearing. This completes disassembly of the turbocharger.